new controversy surfaces as it comes to fruition that Assassin's Creed Valhalla could possibly run only at 4K30 on consoles instead of 4K60? Man, oh man. And what makes it hurt even more for console gamers is that the possibility that it could run 4K60 on Stadia? A cloud platform? Is this a conspiracy? <laughs> Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy MM2K back again with another one. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when I'm dropping these doses. I appreciate all y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get directly into this one. All right. So what you see on the screen here is a Windows Central Gaming article on Twitter. Um, and it reads, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will run at least 30 frames per second on Xbox Series X, according to Ubisoft. And that highlights that right now the game is targeting 30 frames per second um, on the platform. And that's followed by the disappointed smiley face, <laughs> if you could call it that, right? Um, but they say that they did not close the door on 60 frames per second, but it looks like that this may cap off at 4K 30, right? And that's a disappointment because if we go here, this is um, a tweet from Tom Warren. And in the tweet from Tom Warren, he highlights something that Aaron Greenberg said. Aaron Greenberg said not too long ago, May 7th to be exact, 60 frames per second will be the standard output, but the architecture allows us to support up to 120 frames per second. That gives the perception that all games are going to omit at 60 frames per second. Kind of like what you see Stadia do, right? For the most part, 99.9% .9 of their games all have a 60 frames per second mode or ability as far as what's output. And that's what this comment alludes to, to the unsuspecting gamer. And despite my issues with Tom, or no, really Tom's issues with me, despite Tom's issues with me, I will give kudos to him in regards to him doing the research and digging and finding out more. And in response to Aaron Greenberg's comment, Tom says Xbox Series X games won't run at 60 frames per second standard output. Microsoft tells me ultimately it's up to the individual developers to determine how they leverage the power and speed of the Xbox Series X. Now that is controversial, not only because of what Aaron Greenberg said, this is a complete and complete contradiction to that, but it's controversial because people just paid $500 two years ago for 4K30. So now you want them to pay another $500 for, four, for 4K or 30? You know what I mean? Like, and we get it. Um, as people develop more and more and things get optimized more and more for the console, down the road, you might see a little bit more 4K60 or you may not. You know, who knows? That being said, um, it's a hard sell for those that are being asked to pay $500 again for more 4K30 on their favorite games. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you had all this Xbox Series X optimized and all this talk before. Um, it makes it a hard pill to swallow. Now, in lieu of this, you guys might be asking, well, how does Stadia fit into this? Well. Stadia fit into this because of this tweet thread that I sent right here. Because as I stated earlier, it has come to fruition to many finally that, hey, you're going to be asked to pay $500 to get 4K30 on maybe the years, on one of the year's most anticipated games where it's not going to, where it's going to be possible that you get 4K60 on a cloud platform that you're only asked to pay $10 a month for if you wanted it at Fidelity. So here's what I got to say about that in a tweet. I say, so some have chuckled at my notion that Assassin's Creed Valhalla could be 4K60 on Stadia. Here's why, despite your interest, people need to educate themselves to the tech. Stadia has frame doubling mechanic built into its architecture. Currently, 99.9% .9 of the games can perform at 60 frames per second. Secondly, 
They also use superb dynamic scaling AI and machine learning to achieve 4K. They do not fight for each native pixel. That's important because they realize as the AI and machine learning gets smarter, it heavily decreases recognizable difference between the two. Gen 2.0. The version that is supposed to be 8K120 of Stadia that they've spoken to in the past is on course to provide all this and 60 frames per second simultaneously. Lastly, this was done at the platform provider's level, not the devs. So now ask yourself, are you solely mad at Ubisoft or does a platform provider deserve blame as well for their product's focus or emphasis? Hashtag frictionless gaming, cloud gaming, Hashtag no 30 frames per second in my house, not in my house. <laughs> All right. So people continue to gawk at that, particularly my Xbox brethren. Uh, you're trying to tell me the stadium is going to do 30 frames per second MM2K cut the garbage, right? And that's because, and, and it's disappointing because, not because I'm trying to browbeat you guys with this stuff. I mean, I do the console war back and forth thing. Yeah, I do that for chuckle huckles and laughs. But at the end of the day, I just want gamers to be educated so you get the best out of your gaming experience. And it saddens me when I see gamers fight against their own better notions or fight against their own, you know, better uh, outcomes. Because now it seems like that you guys are coming to recognition that somebody else is saying this. This is from Cole Eastwood. And you know me and Cody Eastwood don't agree on anything nowadays <laughs> as it comes to Xbox. But in relation to this, per the outrage now in regards to this, he says, here's the funniest part. Stadia, Stadia were running at 60 frames per second. And yes, that is true if this thing releases with Gen 2.0. If this release, if this comes out on Gen 2.0, the AK120 frames per second mode that is likely to come out with the next gen consoles, Stadia is likely to bump up the performance to Gen 2.0 before or during the next gen console releases. It's going to have the capabilities of AK120, but at least you're going to get a dynamically scaled 4K because they're not counting every single pixel. They're letting the AI and machine learning boost up the visual fidelity and still make it look great. And you're going to get this the, the frames doubling uh, technology to 60 frames per second. And Cole has done his homework. That's why he said that. And in response to that, I say this. Wow, it appears someone has been doing their homework. Not compromising native pixels for sake of frames when dynamic scaling works great is a disservice to gamers. Now, here's where me and Cole don't agree because, you know, Colt got to maintain the shtick, right? He got he, he can't put this all on Microsoft's shoulders, so he got to blame Ubisoft. So somebody asked Colt, does Stadia have a deal with Ubisoft? Is this a video game conspiracy? Which is, wow, unbelievable. You guys got to do your homework. But at least they asked a the question, so I'll give them kudos for that. And no, of course, Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the marketing rights are with Microsoft. So to that, Colt responds properly, no and no. Now here's where we disagree. He says Ubisoft doesn't want to compromise visuals or resolution or console, but they'll allow PC gamers to drop every visual value and play how they want to get 60 frames per second. That gives you the illusion that Ubisoft is just deciding not to add the scaling portion to the Xbox Series X, right? But hold on, remember, we were told that games could scale up and scale down, right? Because of the power of the Xbox Series X. We were told that for a while. See why y'all shouldn't believe the, the bibble babble and the junk that these execs give you? They just want your money. Don't listen to them. Do your own due diligence. But the part of this that I definitely don't agree with, and I get it, you got to do the shtick. Hey, big ups to Cold Eastwood for at least doing the homework. I'm great on the curve today, Cold. I'm giving you kudos for that, all right? But where I don't agree with is, look, okay, th that's, that, is, um, that is an emphasis that PC gaming has, being able to scale up those visuals. If Microsoft would mandate that or bake it into how the platform works, like how Stadia does, then this wouldn't be a problem for y'all. Stadia, a cloud gaming platform, baked into how it operates 
having 60 frames per second. So we got to tell the whole truth there. Because Microsoft wants to stroke the main still of Digital Foundry-esque type of grading of gaming with it's all about the pixels, baby. Because of that, Ubisoft is putting an emphasis on the pixels. You're trying to tell me that Ubisoft, who has the marketing rights for this game with Microsoft, can't produce a performance mode, but they can do it for a cloud gaming platform? You're trying to tell me that a cloud gaming platform, one that is just asking for $10 a month for this type of fidelity, can provide you more than a box that's gonna cost you $500 plus? Are you crapping me? So again, his response in totality doesn't tell the full picture. Look guys, it's time that you hold these companies feet to the fire. I get it, the people across the street are hating on the platform, but this is bigger than them. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because my good friend Chase of Stadia Talk, while we were talking about this, people in the chat were laughing, you know what I'm saying? And Chase said, no, 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 no. Even though I prefer Stadia, I feel bad for those that are on dedicated devices. Their machines are more than capable of running this at an upscale 4K60. And if you're being asked to pay $500 extra, likely when you just paid $500, if you got the Xbox Series X, you should be able to get a, a, a variety of options and you should be able to game the way that you wanna game. And I'll second that notion on this on, on this video. You know what I'm saying? But I'll, but I'll close it off with this. They're only gonna get away with what you let them get away with. Yes, can Ubisoft make it their point to also focus on a performance mode? But if Xbox ain't mandating it, right? If Xbox ain't built it into the system to give you performance, to ensure performance, don't you think Xbox deserves some blame too? Xbox paid them for marketing rights and you're trying to tell me on a streaming platform it's likely going to give you more options at $10 a month opposed to five to $600 up front? Y'all okay with that? Y'all don't think Microsoft deserves any blame on that? Really? Really? If the answer is no, then you need to pull harder to wedge your head out of Microsoft's caboose more than I thought so originally. Period. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia dosage. And with that said, look guys, gotta demand better, period. You gotta demand better. That's it, you guys have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.